Alrighty then, so this brings us on to the first day of Harry's second year. Which will hopefully be as exciting and engaging and as exhilarating as the first one. It's got the loading screen here, which of course I will cut out because you get it for every single door that you go in Hogwarts. Apart from a few, but pretty much nearly all of them, <laughs> sadly. It's not a good thing though. Here we go. Here is another famous British Wizard card from our collection. I think I'm going to leave most of them to like all the ones that are like in the gnome throwing and the, uh, that sort of thing. It's like the last day I'm thinking. That is my plan. Morning, Ron. Do you know what class we've got first? I heard they flying. You heard right. I'll meet you downstairs in the entrance hall. Don't know where I heard that from, because there's no way, no one you've talked to yet. I mean, Harry's always the last one up. Such a lazy bastard. Honestly. Talks to no one. I like, talks to no one. He's always late up. You all can't get over how you and Weezy arrived in that flying car. Classic. Classic, man. Oh, yeah. Haven't you got flying first thing, Harry? Better get moving. Board already with him. He has nothing humorous to say at all, Percy. He's a prefect after all. Oh, no bad against prefects. Let's see if they have anything. Do you want to swap famous witches and wizards cards? I'll no. give you a card number 81, Huang Po, for number 43, Cyprian Yaldo. I don't have that card. Oh, that's a royal shame, that is. I collect famous witches and wizards cards. Do you? I'll Funny enough, I wouldn't be talking 51. to you, would I? Have a look, speaking. For a number 77, normal twonk. I don't have that card. Why do we just not just have it normal names? Do you collect famous wizards? Have a look, sweetie. I'll give you card number 36, Jocelyn Wedcock. For a number 84, Rolling Kid. I don't have that card. How are you useless? You're just stupid. No one can interact with you at all. They'll be there for most of the days, so they'll be fine. Don't worry. They'll be there waiting for you to get the card. You have to like wait forever there, but it's like until you get the card, they do nothing else all year. It's like I've got to wait here. Harry might have the card soon. He may have it, so I better wait here just in case he comes to me in the next couple of weeks or months or whatever. Is everyone faster than one? Because one eats too much. <laughs> and he's ginger. Oh! To be honest though, I did way too many ginger jokes about one. It's his own fault though, really. <laughs> Hello, Nick. What's the matter? Very observant, Harry. I couldn't tell uh, me it a matter of no importance. Sad. It's just that the properly decapitated Podmore won't let me join the headless hunt. Apparently, they only accept huntsmen whose heads have completely parted company with their bodies. I'm sorry to hear that. Not to worry, young Potter. As I said, it may matter of no importance. It obviously is, otherwise... They wouldn't have talked about it, and he wouldn't have looked upset. Funnily enough, though, that is just completely pointless, that cutscene, to be honest. So there's no purpose. Ah, Potter! heard about that willow incident. It would have been really terrible if you and Weezy had been killed in the crash. Mm, it would have really changed the outlook of the game if we had got killed in the crash. This is a uh, game of nothing. Willow. Mm. About as fascinating as a tree trunk. <laughs> uh, oh. Ouch! They actually say proper things we hit them. Oh, that never fails to amuse me, I'm sorry. Ow. I never got... No point, I swear I've got like... Ten points, yeah, where's my ten points, eh? Oh, Hello, Harry. Let's go outside to the flying pit. We don't want Madame Hoosh to be angry. Us on our first day. Yeah, it jumps like the first day though, it's like, I don't know, must be like October probably. Where's the outside loading screen, showing all the various towers you can go and explore, Hogwarts once you've got a broomstick. 
It's quite good fun actually flying on the boots, I'm not gonna lie. In a my other graphics. Oh, more people to talk to. Let's see if we can what? interact with them at all. I get famous witches and wizards cards. For you. Oh yeah. I'll give you card number 75, Mungo Bunham, for number 13, and of the Invincible. I don't have that card. <laughs> this is going to be bad, isn't it? Let's try with this person. Do you collect famous witches and wizards cards? I'll give you card number 78, or see no trust them. Oh, I'm at this one. Number 98, Jim Snuff Furnage. Here you are. Hey, I've got one. Maybe another one. Do you want to swap famous witches and wizards cards? That's why I'm talking to you, idiot. I'll give you <laughs> card number 23, Glenda Chisholm, for number 27, Mirabella Plunkett. Okay, let's swap. Oh, yes. Two, I'm on a roll here. <laughs> give me beans. There we go. You've got to talk to the plants, then they'll give you what they want. What you want, mother. Anyway. There's the door along here, yeah. This is a bit random, you can only go up here at certain points in the game. You can go up here now, but otherwise I can generally never go down here for some reason. You can just do this. Oh, maybe not. For some reason you're up really high, this little ledge. You can generally do silly things like this. Completely kill Harry Potter off. <laughs> Completely just destroy the third, fourth, I'm fifth, sixth, class, seventh book. Let's go in. Oh yes! Sounds swell to me. Oh, screw this loading screen. I'll keep this one in. This is the flying class, which for some reason you have to do because Harry's obviously not got enough experience on the broomstick yet. I'm just going to use this loading screen to fix my TV because seems to be playing up a little bit, which I Welcome did not want. Second year flying. Although you all apparently learned to fly last year, the apparently is directed at you, Mr. Longbottom. A refresher course Ooh, is in order. Harsh. Mr. Potter, would you please come over here so we can run through the basics? Whilst everyone else has to watch as usual. Please, would you fly up slowly? Whee! Good start. Now return to hover above the ground again. It's good to see that you haven't completely forgotten everything that we learnt last year. Good. At least you have broom control, however basic. Let's try something a little more difficult. I assume you can see the magical rings. Kindly fly through them all for me. I can see magical ring. Not the pleurable version, though. Oh, this is painfully slow. I'm watching this paint dry. Except you're flying. It should be fun. But the class are having fun watching me fly, eh? And I've gossip about various things like Have you seen Neville's Long Bottom recently? And it's like, what? Well done, Potter. I think you're ready to take this year's flying exam. <laughs> Bit of a leap. You have approximately two and a half minutes to fly through as many rings as you can. Your course through the rings will get progressively more difficult, and only the most expert flyers ever managed to complete oh, it. Oh, shut up now, because I want to get this good. I want to get distinction. I actually can. Dramatic turn to the right. This is getting tricky, this is. <laughs> Purple. This is a whole new level of going through rings now. It's purple. You know, shit's about to go down when it goes to purple. Blue ones now. God forbid. Bit high there. Oh, that's final ticket. 
Ring. They sort of go out in a funny way they do. They sort of like spurt out to the right, which is a bit like, uh, what are you doing that for? Last time. Exceptional. You receive an A plus. Dang it. I'm okay with that, but I'm probably getting this distinction. I might redo that again like another time. We get like ten more points if you do that right. Oh, I'm not managing to fuss about it right now. That was exhausting, Harry. I'm off to bed. See you later. Come on, Ron, you really are lazy. Exhausted just from watching me fly around in a broom. It's almost as if he has nothing better to do. I mean, come on, my most sense of adventure. Go hit up the Hogwarts kitchens, cause some mayhem. Mr. Potter. Have some banter with Dean Thomas and the lads. Said you want to go to bed. <laughs> That's all he ever does. It's like, see if you finish something. Oh, that was fun. Let's go to bed now, shall we? Hey, maybe, I, actually, maybe go to bed means that he's going to do something a bit more interesting. Better we snooze. Oh, there it is. Second item. Brilliant. The giant prefix badge. That's about the size of Harry's body, probably. Imagine carrying that around way down the whole time as you're running along to try and stop a student. Wait, wait, wait! And then just fall over anyway. Mr. Potter. Whoa. He says, Mr. Potter. And she leaves it there. <laughs> She's like, yes. She's like, nothing. Oh, a balloon! So buying an object was completely useless because just get given to you from random plants anyway. I'd love to have a balloon spurting plant actually, that'd be quite useful. Oh dear, I'm actually thieving now? No I don't, what am I doing? Just running around doing nothing at all. Um, unless I want to get anything else. But I don't think so, no, I did have a task on the other day. Right. End the day. Yay! The points time. Point I'm not going to be funny, but Gryffindor are really hmm. a bunch of talentless, boring little buggies because I'm the only one that gets any points in Gryffindor. The rest of the year manages to get some points together, but I always manage to get Ravenclaw. like all the points everyone needs. It's poor F from Gryffindor. Oh. What else are they doing? Just go to bed all the time. What a sad bunch of imbeciles. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Or rather, Harry Potter, as it should be called, I think. Just the Harry Potter stand. Wait a minute, we're drawing. Seven or Slytherin are drawing. <laughs> that fell completely. Because he suddenly realised, wait a second, they're tying. Um, what do I say? Game failure much? <laughs>